Good evening. We'll call the meeting to order. This is the Thursday, January 21st, 2016, regular Marion City Council meeting. Would you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Call to order. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, roll call, please. Ms. Pazor. Ms. Etzel. Mr. Spinks. Present. Mayor Abawasli. Here. Mr. Brandt. Here. Mr. Sternin. Here. Mr. Draper. Here. Thank you. At this time, we'll have a moment of silence. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, next we have um, any citizen presentations or comments? Is there anyone who'd like to speak to the council? Please state your name and your address. And Thank you, Your Honor. Susan Kling, 2790 Brandon Court, Marion, Iowa. I'm here representing the library board. Uh, this afternoon, I have just two quick items to update you on. This afternoon, the director search committee met, and we selected eight candidates for Skype interviews, which will be held next Thursday and Friday. After those interviews, the committee will select three to four finalists that will um, be here in Marion February 8th and 9th, and we'd like you to mark your calendars on Monday, February 8th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. We will have a public forum at the library. And so you'll get a chance to meet those candidates and we will have little feedback forms for people to fill out. So we're hoping that you can attend and, and hear from our three, to four, three or four finalists, whatever, uh, however many we determine at that point. Um, so we will, we will be sending out more information about that and advertising it so the public knows about that as well. The second item is uh, we, we don't really have an update on, well, we don't have an update on the building project. We're still waiting to get cost estimates back from Ryan. So as soon as we get those, they say February, we'll be sharing those. So thank you very much. Any questions? What Mr. was the time on that? February 8th at what time? 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. 6.30 to 8.30. In the library meeting room. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any other public comments? Please come forward, state your name and address. Thank you. Clark Weaver, 2951 27th Avenue, just here to represent the Lindmar School Board. Thank you for being here. I will note that the, the Lindmar Board consistently has representatives at our meetings, and it's appreciated. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on with our uh, consent calendar. You want me to do that with Kim? Uh, I think Paul I'll, I'll, to do it. Going alphabetically, I'll do that, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, the consent calendar uh, includes items number one through 24, resolution 25058 to resolution 25073. I've had no request to remove anything. I move approval. Second. Okay, it has been moved and seconded to approve the consent calendar as presented. Any discussion? Seeing none, we'll vote. Um, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, signify by saying no. Okay, the consent calendar is approved. Yes, Your Honor, I move to approve the consent calendar with the mayor abstention, which is items 25, 26, 27, including resolutions 25074, 25075, 25076, and 25077. Second. 
It has been moved and seconded to approve uh, the consent calendar uh, with my abstention. Uh, all those, uh, the discussion? No discussion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. The second part of the consent calendar is approved with my abstention. Okay, finance. Your Honor, I move to approve resolution number 25078, approving payment in the amount of $47,000 to Hogan Hansen for professional services related to the June 30th, 2015 audit. Second. It has been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 25078, approving the payment in the amount of $47,000 to Hogan Hansen for professional services related to the June 30th, 2015 audit. Any discussion? Seeing none, we'll, move, we'll vote. All those in favor of this resolution, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Okay. Administra administration? Your Honor, at this time I'd like to make a motion uh, directing the staff to negotiate a lease agreement with the McGowan House with Alley's Weeds. Second. It has been moved and seconded to direct staff to negotiate a lease agreement for the McGowan House with Alley's Weeds. Is there any presentation on that or any comments? Uh, not yet. The uh, I had uh, let the council know in a memo that the McGowan House artisans um, were not going to continue operations in the building. Uh, it's been sitting vacant for a while and um, so the last time we um, put out an RFP asking for proposals for people to come in, um, we did a uh, request for uh, proposals as well. We distributed it through the chamber, through Uptown. We did a, new, a news release, put it on our website and uh, Allie's Weeds was the uh, only um, business that responded. Um, I, they have viewed the facility and gone through it uh, they anticipate that it will meet their needs um, but uh, the next step would be to actually to negotiate a lease for it uh, just for the benefit of the council and the public in attendance um, when that building was donated to the city um, there were a couple of covenants that were put on it that restrict its use uh, it can't be used as a primary residence and while it can be used for commercial use it can't be used for what would be deemed like a high intensity retail use <coughs> like a even, even some of the antique stores and things would probably fall into the category of high intensity. Uh, looking at the what they have in mind for it, we would see, I think, significant improvements to the grounds. They'd have some opportunities to do some things there, and they just seem to feel that it would be a really good uh, fit for what they want to do to expand their business. And we did receive no other proposals. Yeah, in their memo, you talk about a light fixture that uh, we have to re that uh, we have to replace or? the um, when the when the building was donated to us the um, light fixtures in it there were some old heirloom like chandeliers and things like that that the family kept so when we leased it out it did not have light fixtures ceiling fixtures in three of the rooms and the uh, McGowan House artisans provided those and so uh, they're basically wondering if we would like to purchase those so that we would once again have permanent fixtures in the building um, they're not uh, you know home improvement store quality fixtures they came from the RJ Center they've given me invoice and just taking a look at that to see uh, if that's a good fit for us long term. But they're in the building right now. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, any additional questions? Any discussion on this motion? Okay. All those in favor of the motion directing the staff to negotiate the lease uh, with Ellie's Weeds, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Councilman Draper? Yes, Your Honor. I would make a motion to remove from table resolution 24,979 approving the development agreement with France Community Investors for renovations of the Cobb Hivery building, including an annual TIF appropriation, and it was tabled on 11 19 of 15. Second. It's been moved and seconded to. Remove from the table resolution number 24979, approving the development agreement with Franz Community Investors. Any discussion on the motion to remove from the table? 
All those in favor of the motion to remove from the table, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion passes. So the motion is now on the table. Uh, now you could now you'll introduce the resolution on the following page. Okay. Do I do I need to do this one? Go ahead. And you need to do that. Oh, okay. Do this motion, please. All right. Your Honor, I move to approve resolution number 24979, <coughs> approving the development agreement with Franz Community Investors for the renovation of the Cobb and Hervey building, including annual appropriation tax, in tax increment payments that was tabled on 1119 of last year. Second. It has been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 24979, approving the development agreement with Franz Community Investors. Um, any discussion, or could you give us a little refresher, Lon? Yeah, this is the uh, building that most people locally would know as the uh, Parks and Smith building in the old Sorg Pharmacy uptown. Uh, the company is uh, buying the building and they're intending to renovate it to historic standards and um, add housing to the upper floor. Um, they are uh, applying for historic preservation tax credits on the project, so it will be a historic restoration. Their intent is to um, take the front of the building back to more of its original look and um, basically open up the entire top floor for use, which hasn't been in use for quite a while. Uh, overall, the building right now is assessed at $267,000. Um, their uh, overall investment will be $1.6 million. Uh, the city's assistance is coming in two pieces. One will be a direct loan to the building, and then the other one will be a, uh, a series of tip rebates to the company during their lease-up period. Uh, at the end of the project, they've agreed to a minimum assessment of 515000 on the building. Uh, again, that is a minimum, but um, we don't know for sure uh, because there's not a long track record yet with this type of projects going on in Uptown Marion, um, how the county assessor will come out with that final value, but we're at least setting a floor on it. Uh, so the two pieces of the incentive, one is a direct loan to the company uh, for uh, $450,000. They will repay that um, to the city uh, starting as soon as the building is available for lease and basically once we declare a certificate of occupancy on it. Um, it's a residual receipts loan, which means that they're going to have to work with us to make sure that um, we have an idea of what the cash flow in the building is. They'll have a certain profit margin that's defined in the development agreement and whatever the building earns over that will come back to repay our loan. At the same time, they are um, paying off private financing and we required them to maximize the amount of that they could get. Um, about 11 years in, there'll be a point at which the amount that they've paid off on our loan and the bank loan um, and the value of the building should allow them to refinance and pay off the remaining balance of our loan. So we'll, um, at a minimum, at the 11 year point, we should be completely paid off. Uh, at the five year point, we will ask that an appraisal be done on the building to see if the appreciation in value and the increases in rents are sufficient to allow us to be paid off earlier. We do the same thing again at 10 years and do that periodically to make sure that our money's not in the building any longer than it has to be. The other component of the um, incentive is a series of TIF rebates and uh, it's a step-down schedule that goes for 10 years. The first, second, and third year, it's 100%. Fourth, fifth, and sixth, it's 80%. Seventh and eighth, 60%. And then ninth year is 40%. And tenth year is 20%. Um, so after for three years, we'll uh, start to collect the increased value in the taxes on the building, and then it'll slowly phase in over time. That, that is over current tax base. <coughs> right. We'll always collect the uh, taxes and on the 267000 and they will go right. out to their normal split. But what? that the second part of it is estimated to be about a $16,000 incentive. Y you might mention, Lon, that they're not rookies in renovating buildings. No, so. they've done buildings in Fort Madison. They've done buildings in uh, Dubuque and other communities. Um, this is what they do. This is the type of project that they take on. They're very experienced at it. Lon, on these notes that we are <clears throat> getting involved with like that, are, is the city somehow protected in that first 11 years on that in case there's any 
uh, lien against the property or equity refinancing, any of that type of stuff? We'll have a second position mortgage, and they're not allowed to refinance unless we get grant okay. our permission because we would have to subordinate to anything <coughs> new that comes on to uh, comes into the building. Uh, at the same time, um, we have a backup that the bank does not. If, for example, they default on the payments that are owed to us over the course of that year, we can actually assess those back as additional property taxes. So, uh, much like any other debt, you know, unpaid. Um, utility bills or you know not paying for snow removal on a sidewalk or something like that we have a recovery mechanism perfect thank you any other questions any discussion okay all those in favor of the motion to approve resolution number two four nine seven nine Approving the development agreement with Bronze Community Investors. Please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion passes. Yes, Your Honor. This is a motion to remove from table uh, resolution 25053, granting an extension agreement for the property located at 1000 7th Avenue. A request from Capital Commercial Division, LLC, that was tabled on 1 7 of 16. Second. It has been moved and seconded to remove from the table resolution number 25053 granting an extension agreement for property located at 1000 7th Avenue. Any discussion on removing from the table? All those in favor of the motion to remove this resolution from the table, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion passes, and the motion is now um, removed from the table. Your Honor, I move to approve resolution number 25053, granting extension agreement for property located at 1000 7th Avenue, Capital Commercial Division, LLC, tabled 1716. Second. It has been moved and seconded to remove, to, to approve resolution number 25053, granting an extension agreement for property located at 1007th Avenue. <coughs> um, Lon, do you, is there anything you want to say about that? Or? Yeah, the, um, the company has had a chance to review it, and they had made a couple of suggested changes. Our attorney was fine with those. The agreement is ready to go. Uh, basically, they, uh, you know, we entered into an agreement with them in January of 2014, and all the improvements to the property were supposed to be done by December 31st, 2015. Uh, obviously, there's still some work that remains to be done to that, and they have asked for an extension of uh, three months to uh, March 31st, 2016 to complete those. Uh, our attorney does, our TIF attorney does recommend approval of the agreement. His feeling that is that, you know, it's a good faith effort of the city to allow the uh, company an opportunity to bring uh, the building into compliance with the agreement. Okay. Um, are there any uh, questions for the property owner? I know she's here. Any questions for her? Okay. Any discussion? No discussion. Um, all those in favor of approving the resolution to grant an extension uh, for property located at 1000 7th Avenue, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. I abstain, Your Honor. Okay, we have one abstention. And the motion passes. Your Honor, at this time I make a motion of resolution number 25079, approving the request of funds regarding the Marion Leadership and Action Winter Light Project 2016 in the amount not to exceed $10,000, Marion Leadership and Action Class of 2016. Second. It has been moved and seconded to approve resolution number 25079, approving a request for funds regarding the Marion Leadership in Action Winter Light Project 2016 in an amount not to exceed $10,000. <coughs> is there any discussion on this? Where's our matching? Is there a number of uh, matching funds? 
Well, it's not stated as matching, though. Right. Just well, ten thousand. Yeah. Not to exceed ten thousand. And these funds you were talking about, perhaps out of um, hotel, 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 motel. Yeah, and um, I think you know, the way that they have approached this in the past is they've, even though we might put a, a ten thousand dollar number on that, if they raise eighty five hundred, they'll rec requisition eighty five hundred from us on, on the match for the ones that they're able to raise. And do we need to specify in the resolution that the, um, the source? No, it's actually uh, under my uh, allocation authority, so I can do that, but I'll let the council know the funds that we take it from and what date. We had received also a memo on this. Uh, I was under the impression we were going to have a presentation this evening to know what their current funds available were. I know there was concern about a 40% discount, but the order had to be placed by March. Do we know when that true cutoff date was going to be and whether or not we would be allocating up to that 10000 I haven't been briefed on that, no. <coughs> Do we want to <coughs> wait to see what they raise? Or do we just go ahead and do this now? Well, I think we agreed up to the 10. If it was going to be matched by matching proceeds, I mean, if it falls short, we will certainly no more match than what was yeah, raised, correct? He had Lon's discretion. It's under the 10, so. Yeah, this basically is, you know, authorizing the request for up to that amount um, and letting the, um, giving me authorization to do it because it isn't uh, included as a specific line item in the budget right now, but it is underneath my approval authority. I think um, in past projects, uh, they have asked the city to act first because uh, it helps when they're going out and raising private funds to note that it's leveraging city dollars, that it's a matching program. And when he says it's under his approval, we still have to approve what he has done. So it's not just Lon. Yep. It's right. the mayor or Mayor Pro Tem, mm -hmm. I believe, that signs it off, or, and then it comes toward comes to council for the final. For this type of a thing, yeah, we'd bring it back to council. Yeah. So uh, I wanted to clarify that. Right. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? Okay, we'll proceed to vote. All those in favor of approving resolution number 25079, approving the request for uh, funds regarding the Marion Leadership in Action Winter Light Project 2016 in an amount not to exceed $10,000, uh, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion is approved. Um, mayoral reappointments. Um, I just wanted just to speak briefly on this first. Um, you know, I went back and looked at these, and I just think that we, we have to do this in a way that makes sense. And, um, um, you know, I talked with the department heads. I think, you know, we have to consider what the depart de department heads feel and, and, and their experience with, with the individuals. Um, I think there has to be some deference given to their opinion. Um, and um, you know, I just like I said, I just want to make sure that what whatever we do makes sense and is um, a totally open process. Looked at the applications. I talked with depart the department heads, and I think it's um, it's reasonable. Like with like Phil Hirschner, um he had only served one year on the on the local option sales tax committee, and I think he deserves he will, he would like to continue serving. Um, you know, it, it probably takes a year um, to figure out what's going on and to to get, become comfortable to be able to really contribute to the committee. So I think that you know it's, it's reasonable to to appoint him again, give him another term to to actually uh, contribute to the committee and and. And make it and you know be a be a part of the committee um, on Kevin Morgan and Craig Adamson the department had felt that they were a real asset to the committee and um, one of them is actually the, the chair of the committee um, and strongly recommended that they be reappointed so that's why I proposed them for re reappointment um, 
Joe Spinks has served very well as mayor pro tem, and I would love to see him continue serving in that in that position. So, Thank you. those are my uh, comments on the reappointments. That's not, no, uh, it shouldn't be taken as a statement uh, against anybody else who applied for the positions or who was interested in the positions. It's just that this is what um, seemed to make sense. Well, you, do you want me to do them all, or do you want to do them individually? How, how, what's your preference, um, Mayor? Let's let's do them individually. Individually? Yes. Okay. Uh, the first one is uh, Mayor re I move to approve these mayoral reappointments. Bill Hershner for Local Option Sales Tax Oversight Committee, the term to expire 12-31 of 2019. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve Phil Hershner for reappointment to the Local Option Sales Tax Oversight Committee. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion passes. Uh, Your Honor, I move to approve mayoral reappointment for Kevin Morgan for the Public Services Board, term to expire 1231 of 2017. Second. It's been moved and seconded to uh, Reappoint Kevin Morgan to the Public Services Board. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Okay. Your Honor, I move to approve this mayoral reappointment for Craig Adamson. Again, for Public Services Board, the term to expire on 12-31 of 2017. Second. It's been moved and seconded to reappoint Craig Adamson to the Public Services Board. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. Motion passes. Well, this next one's a tough one for me. <laughs> Should I go out of the room for this one? <laughs> yeah, we'll have some discussion. <laughs> Your Honor, I move to make this mayoral reappointment for Joe Spinks for Mayor Pro Tem. Second. It's been moved and seconded to appoint Joe Spinks, Mayor Pro Tem. Any discussion? Come on. <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. I abstain <laughs> from that one. <laughs> and I would, I would encourage any, anyone who had applied for the position to keep their applications on, on file with the city and to maintain their interest because positions do come open regularly. Um, okay. I think we're down to council discussion time. I just want to thank the mayor for continuing to, uh, to have me on as uh, mayor pro tem, and I will serve him to my best ability. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got. I have nothing, Your Honor. Okay. Congratulations, Joe. No, I. The only thing I had is. Uh, I wanted to compliment the staff on the quality of reports we got this week. Uh, Mike, the swimming pool report I thought was very thorough and and well thought out. And then all of the all of the re department head reports I, they're really interesting. And I I know that that's kind of a pain in the butt to do those, but they are looked at. I want you all to know. So uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Okay, um, I have a few things. Um, I didn't know if everybody saw the, the uh, uh, piece on the news uh, last night uh, about Chloe Taylor, the elementary student uh, who was recognized by our fire department for having uh, uh, remembered everything that she had learned in fire safety and uh, helped her family escape a fire to safety. So they honored her. I thought that was really, that was really neat. Um, and... Um, John Bender was elected today as the chair of the um, Metropolitan Planning Organization um, Policy Board. So he represents Marion on that on that board, and he was elected chair today. So that's that's good for Marion. He's on the water board, isn't he? Is is he on the yeah, on the water board here? Mar but he's also represents Marion on the MPO yeah. uh, policy board. Um, the council has um, decided to. 
um, uh, begin doing office hours on Saturdays from 8 to 10 in the in the council office and uh, that will be um, publicized and uh, I want to thank uh, Councilman Draper for uh, agreeing to um, to do the office hours for the month of February but we're going to be rotating and taking turns um, uh, doing the office hours hopefully giving people another option to um, talk to council members about any, any concerns or, or issues or questions they have. Um, we also are going to be setting um, special work sessions um, uh, in every ward this year, one, one work session in every ward. Uh, and we'll be announcing the dates of those um, so that we'll find, a, we'll find a location in the particular wards where we'll uh, have a special session and make presentations about any projects or things that might affect uh, people in that area and, that, and answer their questions. So just another, another thing that the council had talked about doing um, for more outreach and being more um, accessible um, to the citizens. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention is uh, the state of the city um, luncheon is next Tuesday. So I think that's it. All right. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you for coming.